Uh, quick little disclaimer before this video. Uh, I recorded this, the I recorded this video, uh, the one you're about to watch, uh, December second, twenty twenty four. As of now, it is currently uh like March thirteenth, twenty twenty five. Uh, so yeah, I recorded this a while ago. I think it all still holds up. I think my audio had a little bit of issues in the recording, but I think the information in the video is still consistent with how you do it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing off how to RNG manipulate for shiny wild encounters in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And Sun and Moon. This works the same in those games as it does in this game. Or in these games. Uh, haven't recorded one of these videos in like probably two weeks. I had surgery last week, so kind of stopped me from recording anything. Uh, so this is probably going to be worse than usual. But yeah, we're still going to make it work. So first thing I want to do is you want to make sure that you have Citra RNG installed. I already have it installed, but basically, if you don't have it installed, go to the link in the description. You're going to want to go to your uh, Citra installation folder, and once you download Citra RNG, it should be just like a zip folder with some Python files in it, and you're going to want to move all your Pyth those scripts into this scripting folder, put it here, and uh, the scripting folder in your Citra directory and I think it's gonna ask you to overwrite one of them uh, if it does just accept it if it asks you to overwrite any files when moving Citra RNG to Citra just say yeah so you get that and they're going to want to run the uh, Citra RNG Pi folder you can either do that through uh, like a bat file uh, you could do it through VS code that's what I'm doing it through so we have this so from here I just hit the run button and it runs our Python script don't close this because if you do if you hit this it'll stop your program so we're gonna do this minimize that and we have this so from here we want to open up Citra I'm going to be doing ultra moon because that's my main save and you're gonna want to make sure your your ultra moon or sun or Pokemon moon or ultra whatever you're gonna want to make sure your game is updated to the most recent version so by default if you just download the ROM offline or off the internet uh, it's, it's not probably it's just gonna be the normal version so what you're going to want to do is try and find the CIA file for the updated version so and once you get that CIA you go to file install CIA here's all my updates and stuff and just click on it it'll automatically install it over and then boom you're good you have to be on the most up-to-date version of the game or else Citra RNG will not connect to it uh, so from here we're going to open up the game we're going to click through some menus I'm already at the location where I want to shiny hunt I'm going to be shiny hunting for a shiny Noibat uh, you're going to want to make sure, go to your bag, make sure that you have honey because you cannot sweet scent in this game like you can in previous games. So honey is the pretty much the only way to force a wild encounter. Uh, so honey right here and we're going to stay on this menu so I can set up the next part. From here let's open up 3ds RNG tool. This is what we're going to, going to be using to find out where our shinies are. So. If this is your first time RNG manipulating, you're going to want to create a profile. So let's go here, create this hypothetical profile. So game version, simple enough, just select your game version, name it whatever. But your TSV, that, uh, that's how we find out what, or that's what determines if a Pokemon shiny or not for you. So what we're going to do is go here, change this to either Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Moon, depending on what version you're playing. Go and this will be grayed out but that's because we're on gen 6 tab so go over to gen 7 connect that should go smoothly if it doesn't connect then either you have one of these you either have it on you know the wrong version for the game you're connecting to or you don't have the update installed so uh, now that we've got that we need to find out our TSV so the easiest way to do this is to find out the TSV of our, or to go to our starter. So my starter, I picked Incineroar. Uh, so go to main, 
party slot two, so that's where Incineroar is, and we update this. Let me, let's stretch this out, and we can see the Pokemon shiny value, which is 3074, and our trainer shiny value, which is TSV, which is 921, which, you know, these obviously mismatch, so they're not shiny, but if these two values match, then you get a shiny Pokemon. So, since my trainer shiny value is 921, we go over here, input 921, it's filled in by default for me. And you're going to want to mark whether you have a shiny charm or not. Uh, I recommend getting a shiny charm. It makes it so much easier, dude. So if you, a lot, I mean, it is a pain in the butt to get. But if you're willing to just, you know, do a little bit of save editing and give it to you, you uh, give you the shiny charm or complete the Pokedex or whatever, do that. So we have that. And then make sure you select it, Pokemon Ultra Moon. So everything's filled out here. So... Uh, 921 is mine. I'm, I'm just checking real quick. So if I go to party member 3, my wishy-washy, also 921. But this Silvali I have here is traded over from my Pokemon Sun playthrough. So you'll see that the TSV is different because it's from a different trainer. So make sure whenever you're checking the TSV, it's from a Pokemon that you yourself caught from your game. So, yeah. So we're going to be trying to get... We are in Verdant Cavern, the trial site. So we're going to be trying to get a shiny Noibat. So, Verdant Cavern, trial site. Uh, slots, Noibat. And I believe it's night. For this specific one, it doesn't matter because I think no matter the time of the day, the encounters are always the same here. But uh, we'll just keep it on night. Or, uh, yeah, we'll keep it on night, whatever. So Noibet, we want shiny only, and then from here, we need to minimize this, make sure you save. Uh, actually, we're going to save, before we start, I'm going to show off one little detail, or, you know, one little feature of how uh, frames advance in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So we're going to do key button, or the, the button combination to restart our game. So, actually, let me, do it. let me do it one more time, because I clicked through that one of those menus too quickly. So, you can sit on this starting menu for as long as you want. Your frame will be stuck at 477. You go to the next frame, or next screen, it goes to 478, and then after this, you'll see it'll start advancing. So, let's do this, and I'm going to uh, pause the game using frame advances. Uh, which you will know, notice if you once you pause your game, uh, it does make the menus move a little slower. Uh, but yeah, so toggle frame advancing, and you will see. Just keep note of this number. When I advance the frame, press the button, it advances to seven six five. Press it again, doesn't advance. Press it, then it's seven six seven. So to advance the frames in this game, you kind of gotta, you gotta hit the button like twice for it to actually advance but be very careful when advancing frames because that throws me off all the time trust me so and then depending on the area it also makes it harder to uh, get it to advance because I've got this whole area set up to where it advances by two frames most of the time but if you have like a bunch of bubbling spots like you know how uh, the Rattatas or Young Goose or whatever can come out of these holes and attack you those make your frames advance way faster so if you can go through and clear them out first so that you get your adva frames advancing as slow as possible it just makes this whole process easier uh so and for some areas that's not going to be an option and you know you kind of just have to deal with that it makes the process take a lot longer but you'll eventually get it so you can see one two one two one two yeah so there we go we have that so from here, we're going to disconnect. We're going to undo this, and we're going to actually, for real, this time, uh, restart our game. So, restart the game, uh, connect, update to get our new initial seed, pause. I, I say pause because this, I don't know if it's Citra RNG's fault or Citra's fault or wh whose fault, but this program is kind of finicky and disconnects frequently or causes like an infinite loop or something. 
So once you get your once you get your seed from here, go over to the seed area here, Control V to paste it, and then we have all our other details filled out: shiny only, verdant cavern slots, and we're just using the default value set over here. So calculate, and ooh, that's not very good. <laughs> we don't want to wait that long. So what we're going to do is just go disconnect, restart our game again to get a new seed, connect update that's our new seed and let's see calculate 6803 okay that's way better that's way better I mean the HP is low but I'm just doing this for the for the tutorial so it doesn't really matter uh, I guess I could go for a higher one but we'll just actually we're gonna go for this higher one because 6803 yeah it is earlier but 65 or 9518, 9519, and 9520 are three frames all right next to each other that are all going to give you the same Pokemon. Which you want, if you can, find frames that are together because there's a chance that, you know, when I'm cycling through my frames, the frame I land on skips the frame I need. So, like, I could be at, I could be at 9517, and then when I, I advance to the next frame, I go to 9519 and I skip 9518 entirely. But it's okay because we have our extra frames here. So if you can find at least two frames next to each other, if you're in an area where frame advancing only advances two frames. But yeah, uh, sometimes you get lucky. I've had like 30 frames right next to each other that all give uh, shinies. It was really nice getting my shiny Pichu that way. But we're going to go for 9518. Uh, I'll. I'll put this like right over here. I don't know how I'm gonna space this out. So, update this. Go click through some menus, and we are going to want to open up our menu, hover over our, our bag, and you're going to want to create a save state. For me, it's Control C to create a save state to the the oldest slot. Uh, so I don't know what it is. I think that's the default. So Control C to do that. And it's going to advance, and I'm just going to speed up until we're a little closer. Uh, when you speed up, there's a high chance it disconnects. Uh, looks like I'm getting lucky, though. So. Okay. Slow down a little bit around here. Okay. Click through manually to advance. And see, now, you can see it's different whenever... One, two, uh, it advances by one at a time, which is great. That's the ideal scenario is you get in an area where that's possible, but usually that's not the case. So let me click through a little faster so I can get closer. Okay. And see right there, I was on 9517 and it skipped over 9518 straight to 9519, which is fine because we found frames next to each other. So from here, now that we're on a frame that'll give us a shiny, we are going to want to go to our game, hold down your A button to open up the bag, and then while holding down the A button, uh, turn off frame advancing so that it unpauses the game. And you will see your frame does advance, but it's fine. So we're going to go, and then while you're in your bag, your frames don't advance, so if your honey isn't, the top, isn't at the top, it's fine. So. From now, we do use this item, and then we should have our shiny Noibat. And we didn't. We got a Diglett, which is fine. So, the first thing that happens that I suggest always doing whenever you go on your shiny frame, and when you land on your shiny frame, it doesn't actually give you the Pokemon you're looking for, is to figure out if the NPCs are interfering because they can change how things work. So, Diglett, we're going to want to go to Wild, Update, get all the details about the Diglett we can. So, Slots, change that to Diglett, turn off Shiny only. Its nature is Hardy, nature Hardy. Its hidden power is Water, hidden power Water. And then we're going to want to calculate. Actually, first, right click on the frame you're aiming for and hit set as target frame. And we're going to calculate and we're going to find what's closest. So, this looks like this could be it 21, 13, 25, 20, 21, 28. 
that lines up, its Pokemon Shiny value is 2501, and this one is 2501. So this is the Pokemon we got. But you will notice it's, I mean, just not the frame we landed on. We did two, we did 9519, and this is 9596. So from here, I suggest going over to number of NPCs and upping this, and then we recalculate. And once we recalculate, we see, oh, 9519, the shift zero because we landed it on that exact frame and all the stats line up so turns out when we did our calculation uh it was wrong because instead of there being zero npcs there was one and the npcs throw it off so now that we know there's one npc here we need to go back and turn all that off to and then go back to noibat and then recalculate so now our shiny frames are 6, 4, 4, 9, blah, 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 blah. You see it. You see it. So from here, you're going to want to uh, disconnect because if you're loading a save state, make sure you disconnect first because otherwise your game will crash. It will. It cannot handle that for some reason with Stitcher RNG connected. So reload your save state, pause the game, go back over here, connect, update. We're back at 785. And then we're going to advance back all the way to 9449. So, let's do that. Okay, oh, cutting it a little close. 9430. Click through a little bit. 94, we're aiming for 9449. 9448. And you see it skips over 9449 to 9450, but. 9450 is still a shiny frame, so works out for us. So now we're going to hold down our A button to open up our bag and then unpause the game at the same time. Go over to Honey, use our Honey, and then this time we should actually have our shiny Noibat. There you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. In some areas, it's super easy to do this. In some areas, it feels virtually impossible to do it. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I think it's possible in every area, but in some areas, if I wouldn't even recommend it. I've, there's some areas I've tried it, and it's been such a pain that I just gave up. Uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Hope that, hope that helps anyone trying to figure it out. Uh, yeah. I think that's all.